Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's week 34, June 15th, 33 and one, worked show weekend. June 16th, 33 and two, worked again, tired. June 17th, 33 and three, worked three to three, like a shift. I worked three twelves. I'm extremely tired. I spoke with my managers and found out a coworker reported me about something that was her job to do because that's what a patient wanted, but flipped it to make it my fault. Leave my pregnant ass alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Why are y'all bothering me? Like, I'm just trying to be out of here. Y'all don't have to deal with me in a few weeks. Like, just leave me alone. June 18th, 33 to 4. I slept in trying to recover from my three out of three shifts. Kristen is my cousin. She came over and saw our house for the first time since we bought a house. Blake made us tacos. We sat and talked. She felt the baby moving and kicking. Feels like I'm hot and tired every day. What, booby? June 19th, 33 and 5. Look who wants to say hi. Come here. Come here. Somebody wants to say hi. Say hello. Hi. Say, I'm still the baby right now. I'm still the baby. Yeah. Are you still the baby? What's the matter? Mm -hmm. Need some tension, some love. Somebody wants a hug. Okay. We'll sit down somewhere. Went to MFM. MFM is Maternal Fetal Medicine for a 30, uh, 32 week ultrasound. They were confused as to why I was getting scanned again when I passed my three hour glucose test. Didn't need to take sugars. They wouldn't like my sugar chart. I'm like, I'm not taking my sugars. They're like, they're not. I'm like, no, because I passed my three hours. They're like, oh, well, then why are you here? And I'm like, I don't know. Um, <laughs> they said my baby was in the 60th percentile. She's five pounds and five ounces. My belly is 70% and that she has a great heart. Her cheeks looked more fluffed, fluffy. Um, they said she was fine. They said that she's about... I mean, five pounds and five ounces sound big. I thought she was going to be at least just like a solid five pounds, but we'll see how big she ends up being. Um, June 20th, 33 and 6, annoyed because I worked triage today, but it actually wasn't that bad today. My coworker gave me some books for the baby. Yeah, so I noticed for the remainder of a few weeks that I have to work, I have to work with some of the older nurses. Um, the older nurses are past their point in having to be pulled pulled meaning like okay so i work mother um uh, maternal fetal medicine um mfcu which is maternal fetal care unit which is like i said antepartum um so people are still mostly pregnant but i could get pulled to miu which is the mother infant unit which is postpartum so if you had your baby i could be your nurse and your baby's nurse and i could also get pulled to triage which is like labor and delivery um the emergency room for labor and delivery um and triage is always crazy because anything can come in there people are in labor um people could deliver there um people have all kinds of things going on at the er basically for ob so it's a lot and it's hard on your body especially when you're pregnant so i was like not trying to go but i noticed that because i can get pulled because my seniority isn't as high as like some of the older nurses because they don't get pulled to other units anymore they just stay on their one unit um i have if i work with them then i have to get pulled so I noticed I'm working with a few of the older nurses in the next, next few weeks and I'm like, dang, I'm gonna have to get pulled. That's annoying to triage. I'd rather work mother infant because it's a lot slower. June 21st, 34 weeks. I worked my own unit today and it was a good day. So I'm getting there y'all. I can't believe I have six weeks left till I'm 40 weeks. It's crazy. So yeah, that's where I am guys. I'm actually kind of like over these kinds of videos. That's why I haven't uploaded them like as often as I should because I'm kind of just like, all right, like how many of these sit down videos can you, can I do? And it's also to every day, like an everyday diary. I mean, it's funny because when I was growing up, I have a, I have like a handwritten diary from the age of, not age, but from the grade of sixth grade all the way to 12th grade every single day. Even if nothing was happening that day, I had to write my diary. It was like, an OCD thing and so that's how I felt about this pregnancy like no matter what now that you know technology is different now I'm gonna do a video for every day of my pregnancy which is what I've done <laughs> leading up to delivery and at this point I'm kind of just like I feel like I'm boring you guys or something or I'm boring myself in a way because I'm like not every day is there something going on and honestly not every day is there something pregnancy related going on so um, I try to make it as pregnancy related as possible, but I also try to throw in a little bit of my life because it does have an effect on how I feel, especially as pregnancy. It's just a little diary. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you guys next week at 35 weeks. Yes. Bye.